There are some parts of the world where it isn't at all easy to be a Christian, where the houses of believers and their churches are destroyed, where they themselves are attacked and killed. One of those places is a country that's called the largest democracy in the world, India. But the persecution of Christians in India isn't new. And today, my Jesuit community is celebrating one of India's martyrs of the 17th century. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the Jesuit saint that we remember today is Saint John de Breteau. He was Portuguese and was born into an aristocratic family, and one of his boyhood playmates even became the king of Portugal. When he was 15, he joined the Jesuits, and after his ordination, his dream of being a missionary was fulfilled when he went to India. Most Indian Christians were poor and of the lower class or caste. And so, in order to preach to the leaders and people of influence, St. John became a Panda Rama Swami, an Indian holy man who wore a red cloak, a turban, and fasted, eating only a little rice. He became well known, and a number of people became Christian. This led to his persecution and imprisonment. But he was released and went back to Portugal to report on the work of the missions. While there, he met with his boyhood friend who had become King Peter II and who was shocked at how thin the missionary had become. The king wanted John to remain in Portugal and tutor his two sons, but his heart was set on the missions, and so he returned there. After the conversion of an Indian prince, his life was threatened and he was eventually captured and beheaded. That's the story of St. John de Brito, and it's inspired people ever since. I hope it inspires you as you strive to be a faithful Christian today.